Hey folks, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. I really appreciate you joining us once again. Folks, my good friends over at Low Bells of New York sent me some Berkshire pork. They sent me some St. Louis cut ribs. That's what we're going to be cooking today. They sent me two racks of them and we're going to try out some of their new dry rub. This is uh, specifically for smoking, low and slow. This has sugar in it, folks. You don't want to grill with this stuff. But if you're doing barbecue, you need to check it out. Let me tell you what all is in here. We've got some salt. Brown sugar, garlic, black pepper, paprika, red pepper, and some coffee grounds. There you go. And you can actually see, you can actually see that red pepper flake in here, folks. Man, this smells some kind of fine. Mmm. Oh yeah, I smell that coffee in there too. Oh, also we got this. Another new product. This is their barbecue sauce. We're gonna check this out. I haven't even opened it yet, but we're gonna check it out on these ribs. Should be pretty good. Let me show you these ribs. Y'all don't check this out. There you go. Folks, when you're looking for some ribs, what you want to do, you find some ribs that's got all this nice marbling in there. That's, that's the marbling that provides moisture to your ribs. Don't get those ribs that are just pure meat. They won't come out near as tender or as tasty. But folks, Berkshire pork, it doesn't get any better than that. Y'all go check it out. Get some for yourself, lowbells.com. I got my uh, Kamado Joe back here. Y'all can see it in the background getting fired up. We holding about 225, 250 Fahrenheit. I got some... Um, lump charcoal on there it's uh i think it's hickory lump charcoal and i got some hickory uh chunks of wood in there also for a little smoke so let me go get this washed off get it dried up we're fixing to throw this dry rub on there be right back all right folks i've already done the other side and all i'm doing is putting some of this uh worcestershire sauce on there you can put you some mustard some olive oil whatever you want doesn't really matter you just need something to hold that rub on. Give her a nice little rub. And this is uh, just a regular old backyard barbecue so I did not pull off the membrane off the back. I didn't really trim it up at all. I just roll on with the flow. It's all gonna meld in together real good. It's gonna taste great. I'll tell you what this rub is uh, it's got a little kick to it. It's got a really nice flavor to it. So we just coat it pretty good on both sides. Give her a nice little rub down and uh, we're going to be right back as soon as we throw it on the grill. Hey folks, I was just fixing to put these ribs on and look who showed up at my front door. This Howdy. is James from Aim em and Claim em Smokers. Good friend, he lives right down the road from me. So he's going to be doing some cooking today too, I hope. Oh, we are. We got yeah. some pork butt, some ribs, and some beef ribs. Oh, it's going to be good. going to be great. We're fixing to throw these St. Louis cut ribs on this Kamado. Check this out. All right, my Kamado is holding about 250 Fahrenheit. These are some fine ribs right here, folks. Now check that out. It's really nice. Berkshire pork, man. Just gotta love it. All right, so we're gonna let this cook until they're done. We'll be back here in a little bit once we start doing some, um, you know, spritzing it and stuff. We'll be back. <laughs> All right, everybody, look. We got James and I over here. We're still cooking. The rain ceased for a little bit. It's been raining off and on all day, but uh, y'all check this out. We got Tom Jones over here from Tom's Test Kitchen joining us. Hey, folks. Hey, Joy. <laughs> Good stuff. Great, great to be here, man. Hey, appreciate you joining it's us. smelling awesome, boys, I tell you. It is. All right, we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these ribs real quick here, folks. Check this out. I got a little bit of uh, my special juice in here. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to figure it out for yourself. Water and pickle juice? Nope, it's not pickle <laughs> juice. It's not water. Anyway, the ribs are getting close. They've been on for about five hours. Wow. Just going to spritz them a little bit. Close her back down. The Kamado Joe's still holding about 225, 230-ish. We'll be back. This is actually H-E-B Cola. Any kind of cola will work. Dr. Pepper probably even works. There you go, H-E-B fans. It's good stuff. We're gonna let that sit on there about 10 minutes. Be back. All right, folks, these ribs are about ready. I got some of this Low Bell's barbecue sauce. We are going to baste on here. I'll tell you what, we tasted this barbecue sauce and uh, it's kind of like a, a Kansas City type sauce. It's a little sweet, just a back end of heat, but it's really, really good flavor. And like I said, these ribs are just about done, so 
we're just gonna just finish them up here just a second and uh, let them cook another 10-15 minutes and we're gonna put them in some foil we're gonna let them rest and we'll be eating here very shortly so we'll show you when we come back what they look like all right gang here we go tell you what this Kamado Joe's been holding about 230 240 the entire cook all day we're about five and a half hours in let's check it out that's what we got now I will tell you before I put this barbecue sauce on there from Lobel's I did put some uh, some some liquid butter in the blue bottle y'all know which one I'm talking about I did put that on there after I did the, the cola y'all check that out that's that's looking really really good right there and that's how you want to test these See how they bend? You get a little bit of break right there. That's perfectly done, folks. I'm gonna tint these in some foil, and we'll be right back over here. And again, we got uh, Tom Jones back over here, Tom's Test Kitchen, Amy McClain of Smokers back here. It's James. Put their links down below in the description box. Y'all need to check these folks out. They got some great videos. Appreciate you joining us. We're fixing to munch on some of this rib barbecue. It's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, we're fixing to cut into these ribs. They look pretty good. Uh, I guess the best way to do them, flip them over. Let's cut down here in the middle. What do you say? Nice and crispy. On the bottom, let's check this out. A little bit of smoke ring. Nice and juicy. I'll say that. That looked pretty good. Nice, man. Nice. Some of these over here. Oh, goodness gracious. Y'all check this out. Check that out, folks. This is on the end. Check out how juicy that is. A nice little thin smoke ring over here. Because of that pecan wood, it's not really super strong, just a hint of smoke. Flip these over. Let's taste some of these. What do y'all say, guys? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. All right, we're going to taste some of these. Any, many, money. Me and Jen's going to taste this, folks. We're going to check out All this. All three of us are YouTubers. We're going to check out this Low Bells run. Hey, it's still yours. Oh, my God, it's tender. <laughs> yeah, it's so tender. It is. Okay, I gotta give me some. That's the Berkshire pork, man. Yeah. This is so tender, YouTube folks. YouTube channels, T-Roy Cooks and Amy Lee Clayton. And I have a ton of oh Tom's Test Kitchen. Mm. Mm. That is tender, isn't it? It is. It's tender. That rub is pretty good. And that barbecue sauce, you know, I could probably put some more barbecue sauce on there, too. <clears throat> yeah, I can use a little more. Use a little another layer of barbecue sauce, but barbecue sauce has got a nice flavor, too. Get a little heat from that, that rub. That's good. Very good. Just Go for it. Do the finger sneak. Which, whichever one you want. I, I got to aim this way so we, we can't see you. Oh man, that's good. I know. Yeah, all right. Ain't bad, huh? Hmm. Folks, oh, that's really good. That's a not risk. overdone, not underdone. Nice, nice bite, nice pull. Right. It's not overly smoked. Love, the, love the pecan, man. I do too. It comes right off, but is it falling off? Nope, it's not falling off. That's a responsible rib. Thanks, Tom. Responsible <laughs> cook. Appreciate that, Tom. <laughs> oh yeah, man. That's good, folks. You're gonna check out lowbells.com. Finger licking. Get you some of these Berkshire pork ribs. They got baby backs. They got all kind of Berkshire pork, along with a lot of other products. It's outstanding. It is. It really is. Really good. Um, and and the pantry items. Y'all seen me do the uh, the marinade? Y'all seen me do the steak sauce? And we're now doing the barbecue rub and the barbecue sauce. I must say, thumbs up to all four of their brand new products. Y'all go check them out, lowbells.com. Folks, this is a win-win. I got Tom Jones over here from Tom's Test Kitchen. Got James from Amon McClain of Smokers over here in the house. We're having a great time doing Texas barbecue with some Lowbells meats. Appreciate y'all joining us. Tom, James, thank you guys. Thank you for having me. <coughs> Pleasure, Troy. Thanks. Thanks for the invite. This is really 
Good yeah. job, Blue Bells. That's really. awesome. We'll see y'all next time. And uh, folks, if y'all enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Hope you share it. And when you do, please tell everybody you know, T-Roy Cooks. Responsibly! <laughs> see y'all next time. <laughs> <laughs>